Welcome back, this is Inc. and in today's problem, we're going to use nodal analysis to determine the voltage Vx across the 3 ohms resistor within the circuit. As always, we choose our terminals and apply KCL and generate our node equations. In this case, we have more than one terminals. Call that terminal 1, terminal 2, terminal 3, and terminal 4. Or we could combine these two A ohms resistor in parallel. Combine that in parallel and that will equal to 4 ohms. So in this case, we can get rid of the A ohms both A ohms and turn it into a 4 ohms resistor. Now, instead of having this as a terminal, this entire branch is considered a loop, so thus we only need terminal 1, 2, and 3. At terminal 2, there's no component between the voltage source and that terminal, so there's no voltage drop, so terminal 2 sees a voltage of 2. Let's call that V2. It's equal to 2 volts. So let's call this terminal 1 and terminal 3. So let's apply KCL at terminal 1, terminal 2, well, terminal 1 and terminal 3. So at terminal 1, we take terminal 1 with reference to terminal 2. As always, our ground. Ground is 0 volts. So terminal 1 with reference to terminal 2 all over the 1 ohms resistor within that branch plus we see that we have a current entering terminal 1 current into a terminal is a negative get rid of the positive it's a negative 2 now we take terminal 1 with reference to terminal 3. Thus, terminal 1 minus terminal 3 all over 3 ohms plus 1 is equal to 4. 4 ohms equals 0. Then we move on to terminal 3. At terminal 3, we take terminal 3 with reference to terminal 2. Then we see that there is a current leaving terminal one, terminal 3, so current leaving a terminal is positive. Then from term we take terminal 3 with reference to ground. And then again terminal 3 with reference to terminal 1. Let's carry the operation out. So at terminal 3... That would be terminal 3 with reference to terminal 2, all over 4. There is a current leaving that terminal, current leaving terminal 3. So that's a positive 2 plus terminal 3 with reference to ground. So we could call that 0 volts. And that's all over 4. 0 volts over 4 is 0. So you could just... Get rid of that. Then we take terminal 3 with reference to terminal 1, as we pointed out earlier. And that's all over 4 ohms. And that's equal to 0. Simplification and substitution of V2 into both equations lead to V2 equals, well, V2 is equal to 2 volts, as we said earlier, 
V1 is equal to 3 volts and V3 is equal to negative 1 volt. To find the voltage across the 3 ohms, we know the voltage at V1, we know the voltage at V3. We could take the difference of that voltage divided by the total resistance within that branch to get the current and then use the current to times the 3 ohms resistor and that will be the voltage drop across the resistor. Let's show you the voltage the let's show you the voltage division method and that is Vx is equal to the voltage across those resistor which would be V1 with reference to V3 so that will be the voltage across let's call it R let's call it R3 plus R1 that's the voltage across both then the vo the the targeted resistance which is the 3 ohms all over the total resistance in that branch which is 1 plus 3 which is 4 ohms and that will equal to 3 volt so in that case v1 so if you take v1 and minus v3 basically what you see is that v1 minus v3 so let's put the 3 minus 1 3 minus a negative is going to be 4 and 3 4 4 cancel out and that's equal to 3 volts doing it the other method is basically taking the difference so the, the voltage across the resistors is going to equal 4 volts as we know then we divide that 4 volts so to get the current in the branch is that 4 volt divided by the total resistance which is 4 ohms and that is equal to 1 ampere and then the voltage across the 3 ohms resistor is equal to I times R and that's both method of getting the voltage voltage division is a bit quicker and that's it so see you in the next problem bye and as always subscribe share and like thank you